Hey y'all, what's good? It's me, Simmer Free, and I want to say thank you for stopping by my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. And I would greatly appreciate if you hit that subscribe button down below to join the crew. And if you're a returning friend, hey friend, welcome back. And how you been? And if you can't tell by my voice, your girl is under the weather. I'm feeling a little sick. My throat is sore. Nose is stuffy, but I'm going to try to get through it. I hope y'all don't mind, you know, but don't bother y'all too much, me sounding like this. So I'm back with another episode, episode two of Single Mother, The Sky is the Limit. And here we are. We are here with Skylar. And look, y'all, she got a baby bump. Look at this. She got a baby bump. A baby bump. She got a baby bump. Bump, bump, bump. Yeah, she got a baby bump, y'all. And in this episode, we're going to go have our ultra our first ultrasound done but first let's go ahead and take her to the bathroom because i you know she might have to go when we get ready to leave and we ain't trying to do all that I'm trying to find bathrooms and stuff but let's check out her movements all right the first movement is a child of the way skyler wants children and is happy to know what is on their way point our girl skyler is excited thinking about baby names happy pregnancy skyler is enjoying their growing baby bump and she's also having morning sickness. So a misnoma, morning sickness can occur at any time of the day. Poor Skylar feels violently ill as if something is pushing her insides all around. Okay, overall she's doing really good. Let's um, wash our hands real quick. She probably already did it, but let's do it again. <laughs> So overall, she's really having a good pregnancy. She's happy, she's excited, all that. So um, I know she can't wait till this ultrasound, so let's get ready to go. Let's um, go out here. What is this? What is this? How do y'all get rid of those? I get tired of these popping up, but we can do this real quick. I ain't gonna hold you, because she ain't took no pictures, and she's, in, she's happy. Like, she's so excited about this pregnancy, like, Yes, it was very much unexpected, but she feels blessed to be carrying this blessing, you know. So we're going to go ahead and take a selfie real quick. I don't document all this. Look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> Aw. What else you got? Let's see. I love this picture. That's cute. Go ahead, Bobby Ghana with the bob. <laughs> I love a good bob y'all I ain't gonna lie and we're also I think we're gonna do that tomorrow because it's kind of late we have a late doctor's appointment so we're gonna um oh she's so cute y'all <laughs> we are going to um Ooh, okay come through sis I <laughs> we're gonna um i still want her to even though she's pregnant i still want her to be on her business like she's about to go look at some salons and stuff like that oh look at the living room y'all i did do the living room and what's so crazy is that i just redid the living room because when i went back in game to play this episode my whole living room setup was gone and i tried to get back to feeling some things is a little bit different because i couldn't remember what i did but yes this is the living room Here's our little computer area, and here's a picture of Skylar and Trey, and another one right here. Her little sticky notes, because, you know, she got pregnancy brain already. And um, here's her little couch, I mean not couch, but her little uh, beanbag seat. Like, it's cute. I'm, I'm not done. Like, I'm just decorating as I'm going in every episode, because... <laughs> I really don't have time to be sitting here and decorating for hours, but here are some more pictures of them throughout the years and stuff. Her favorite picture. So, yes, it's so cute. I had to put stuff down there. And here's my favorite show of all time, if you did not know. And, I, yes, I am mad that we did not get a final episode, but that's another story. And, yes, so here it is. It's so cute. I like it. We're not done. We, As you can see, none of the other... <laughs> the kitchen is not done none of that so i'm still working on what kind of how i want it to look and stuff and um, i had somebody ask me about decorating tips i use pinterest for inspirations and stuff so that's a really good tool to look at different decorating styles like right now mine's is eclectic like i like 
things that don't match and but it flows together it looks cute together so that's what I've been doing and I ain't gonna lie Kamani's house is like that too <laughs> but I try to give them like like Skylar hers is like of a black and white base to it if that makes sense like her main colors is like black and white but then on top of it being eclectic as well and then Kamani her apartment is more like just colorful all around like you wouldn't see her with just the standard color dresser or table or you know it's just more colors to it I would say like her base color is like a pink like it's more of those colors if it makes sense I don't know <laughs> so definitely check out Pinterest for different ideas decorating ideas how you want things to look because it, it's hard to get things on like how you want it to look but then it's like you like where do I start so I definitely pull inspiration for a Pinterest so I hope that helps you with decorating tips and I am putting this house up this month for download it will be moving ready so make sure you go follow me on patreon it will be linked in the description box okay but um before we go let's check out um my pregnancy app and see what they're saying today about the baby let's go ahead and press play you're in your first trimester wow what a whirlwind of emotions you just found out that you're pregnant during the first trimester you will have to take care of yourself and your baby those are very important weeks where rest healthy eating and quintility are essential to try not to having complications in the future have you had your first ultrasound yet all right that's good to know let's go back in the app one more time and we are going to do my baby and let's check out the measurements. Aw, your baby is the size of a spring pea. At six weeks pregnant, the baby is the size of a spring pea. The average embryo at six weeks is approximately 0 0.6 centimeters, a length that will double in the next week. Okay, let's check out some tips. Oh! Did you know during the first week of pregnancy that your baby's vital organs are forming, taking folic acid and prenatal vitamins are highly recommended. Y'all, do they get our pills in here? Cause that would be really cute. For real, for real. So Skylar has learned a lot of important information as far as her body and the baby. Um, how important it is to get your rest. And just overall take care of yourself. So let's get ready. Hold on, I want to check something. I saw something earlier. Yes, we gotta, um, let's go ahead before we leave. We gonna go ahead and take care of these bills. Ooh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> we got to start making some money, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're going to go over here to the mailbox. Or you know what? Yeah, let's get the mail. We're going to pay it like we paying it online with our phone, though. <laughs> so, let's see. We ain't, we not signed up for paperless billing, so. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's go in the app and take care of that so they can go ahead and take this little money. Also, the other one right here. Um, there we go. Almost forgot where it was. Okay, our tax, our property taxes not due yet, but that's coming up. So, oh, you can pay them. Um, individual oh, okay and they must have just changed that up because i don't remember it looking like this let's just pay everything of course and get it out the way if our bills get any higher than that we don't have to um go ahead and adjust these percentages because <laughs> that's that's you know we can do that but oh my goodness I think we'll have to adjust some property taxes. I don't know what y'all think. Is you think that's too high for a property tax? <laughs> so let's get ready to go. Let's call the OB. Choosing the right birthday method for you and your baby can be a daunting task. There are so many different off-ons. It can be easy to get lost in the medical jargons and confused by the countless delivery practice. Which method are you considering? Um, I wonder if we can change it later, maybe, I don't know, but, um, 
let's just do a natural delivery. Natural delivery is a low-tech way of giving birth by letting nature take its course. You may travel to the hospital once you are in early stage of labor. Early labor can be unpredictable. The average length varies from hours to days. Oh my gosh. Well, that is true. To promote comfort during early labor, you may try exercising on the birthing ball or taking a walk. After you are fully dilated, you will be instructed by your obstetrician to start pushing. This stage typically lasts about 70 minutes. Once your baby is born, they will be handed to you immediately for skin-to-skin -skin contact all right let's go ahead and choose that option that sounds good to me i just pray my girl don't be in no labor for no days like ooh, because i adjusted my sims days to be a little bit longer because they be running too too fast <laughs> let's go ahead and call the obstetrician real quick and head to this ultrasound appointment all right let's go here to pregnancy checkup and Oh, y'all can pause and read. Got me over here like Dr. Sue. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so we finally made it to the doctor's office. Oh my God. Yeah, we made it finally. This build is by the great Sierra the Simmer. Shout out to you, girl. Real, real cute. I did change it up a little bit. So let's get Sky all checked in. Hi, my name is Skylar Grant. Um, I have a doctor's appointment. Oh, rude. <laughs> Like I think we gotta heart. wait till he get off the phone. I'm just <laughs> just checking in. Okay, have a seat. All right, she all checked in. Um, let's go over here while we wait and go get our blood work done. We're gonna choose Dr. Bree Washington because she real cute or whatever. Oh, like I said, I did edit the build a little bit. I just added this little section right here to do blood work at. Girl, why are you sitting over there in the wheelchair like that? Oh, my girl just got called. It was like, Skylar Grant. <laughs> That's me. I'm on my way. <laughs> Okay, Dr. Bree. Oh, Dr. Bree, like. All right, Miss Skyler, all done. We will get your results back tomorrow. Please don't worry too much. If there are any issues or concerns in your results, I'll make sure to get in touch with you and discuss everything in details. But remember, no news is good news. <laughs> Y'all so dead. <laughs> all right, so we're done getting our blood work. Let's go get our pap smear done. So Dr. Bree's like, yes, Tyler, um, you can just go ahead and have a seat and I'm gonna need you to get undressed from the waist down. <laughs> you're all done the procedure went smoothly and you did great your results will be available by tomorrow at this stage there's nothing to worry about however we'll wait for the lab results to be sure your results will be ready in the next 24 to 48 hours all right y'all we got our blood work done we just did our pap smear exam so let's go over here to go do our ultrasound. I'm so excited. Flurbus. <laughs> okay, Skylar, are you ready for your ultrasound? Right this way. We're gonna go in this room right here. All right, Miss Skylar, have a seat. Pants undone and belly out. I will be checking baby's heart rate, muscle tone, movement, and overall development. All right, here we go. Let's add some gel. Ooh, <laughs> yes, I know it's cold. All right. There's your bundle of joy. Wow. Oh my God. So that's who been making me sick. <laughs> yeah. There's baby's head, arms, and baby's feet. Do you see that little flutter right there? 
That's baby's heartbeat. Nice and strong. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. <laughs> Is that normal? <laughs> of course, that's definitely normal. Ready to hear baby's heartbeat? That's it? Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Skylar, you're doing great. Baby looks amazing. Now I'm looking at the umbilical cord, making sure it looks good. I'm checking the fluid around the baby. That's this right here. Everything looks good. You see back there? One and two. Good luck sharing the big news. Alright Skylar, keep up the good work and get plenty of rest. Once again, congratulations to you and your partner. I'll see you back in a couple weeks. Take care. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's some pictures for you to enjoy. Thank you so much, Dr. Bree. So we are back. Everything went really well. Baby is doing excellent. Sky is so confident. Look at her. She's like, yes, everything is good. I'm so excited. I can just start relaxing, enjoying this journey that she's going to be on. Can't wait to share the news with everybody. So she's going to ask some little follow-up questions real quick. Yes, Miss Skyler, it's okay for you to come in. You can do all that. You can live a normal life. <laughs> but I would definitely take it, you know, easy every now and again. Don't work yourself too hard, okay? I understand you do hair and you're on your feet, so take a break whenever you need to. So we about to head home. Oh, it is really late, y'all. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we about to head home and get some rest and get us something to eat because she is hungry. So we have finally made it back to the house. Look at Skylar. She is so excited. She is happy. She can't believe it. She's like, oh my gosh. I am about to be a mother. Like I'm about to be somebody's mom. Like Oh, Skylar's over here looking at the portrait of her and Trey. Um, the baby's ultrasound, we're gonna put that in there, but we're gonna leave it in here. I wonder if we can show people the ultrasound, so I'm gonna leave it in the inventory for now. And then once we tell people, we'll put it in the frame. Oh my gosh, look at her. I'm gonna cry, y'all. <laughs> look how she's looking at it. She's like, I wish you were here. To enjoy this feeling I know you've been a great dad you've been a cool dad just all around awesome father like she already knew because Trey he loves kids he wants a big family and I hope they have a boy so he can carry on his father's name So Skylar's just finished sending this text message to Trey's little sister Shanice they're really close um, she just pretty much said that she wants to talk to her. She has something very important to talk to her about. So she will be stopping by their house later on tomorrow. So just look at her moodlets. Um, I don't think she got any new ones. So let's see. Nicely decorated. It's coming together. Happy pregnancy. Already in love. Already in love from ultrasound scan. Skylar can sometimes feel her baby kicking around in her belly. But it's another thing to finally see them on a screen. Skylar is filled with joy at the sight of her baby and is feeling a sense of amazement and awe at the miracle of life. She can hardly wait to meet her child. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's so beautiful. Let's go over here and um, let's clean up a little bit. You know, the doctor said it was okay that we could do that, you know. So she's over here getting her vacuum on, even though she needs to get her something to eat. We're going to do... I'm gonna get something really light um because it is late it's almost 11 o'clock and i usually wouldn't let her eat like this late she would have probably already had dinner but her doctor appointment ran late and there was a lot of stuff she had to do so skylar just finished cleaning we're gonna go ahead and make her something to eat we're gonna make something like a quick meal up oh, right here let's make a quick snack all right let's see what we got whoa i forgot she can't really cook y'all so it's gonna be something really really simple and y'all just pray that she do not burn the house down because <laughs> she does not know how to cook yet let's just go ahead and make some nachos i think that should be safe right i really love this little microwave it's cute okay so she's over here grabbing her ingredients oh yeah i still have the grocery shop like do you guys know if you save more money by grocery shopping or just preparing it 
as you ah, go. Like, which oh, one? Oh, yeah. girl, you gotta be careful. Look at you, about to lose a whole finger out here. Y'all, she is very, <laughs> very much focused. <laughs> oh my gosh. Be careful. All right. Okay. We did all right. I mean, yeah, we got a little nick on our finger. Ooh. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, no. Yeah, take your time. Your mm. what smell like? She's like, I don't know. All right, slow and steady. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, what is hidden like? Let's see. Okay, there you go. Oh, you made a big portion. Okay, the crunch. Let's see what the quality is. <gasps> excellent! <laughs> it's excellent. How do you get excellent on your first time really cooking? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, she is that girl. Come through with the chef skills, Sky. Okay, let's let her finish eating those nachos. Yeah, I know it's not, you know, this is what she's craving. So that's what we just gonna say. Oh, she gotta go to the bathroom, okay. Um, go over here, go over here and go ahead and use it, boo. I know your bladder, that baby's sitting on your bladder, boo. Mm hmm. Hmm. Very much sitting on your bladder. <laughs> now, let's end this for the thousandth time. This one, too. I don't know what these are, like, I'm um, I don't know, but they get on my nerves. <laughs> Yes, I know it's not the healthiest right now, but you know, we just had to get something until she get her skills mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. Oh, dang. Where, why do y'all put, and I changed the stove out already and they still put dishes in the stove. Like, I don't get it. Her energy is not bad, y'all. Like, she not even tired. Like, she like, I am up. So since she's up, let's have her do a little work over here. Cause I do have this mod in where it's a cosmetology. So we're gonna do some research and, um, yeah, let's do some studying some client marketing. Cause she's still, you know, she's still, she has her cosmetology license, but she just going for her business part of it. So, yeah, that'll help her. She's doing her own little research. You know, you know, she went to school, didn't finish it, but she definitely went to school. And so she's trying to finish that, you know, getting more research, things that she wants to do. And after that, oh, okay, there she uh -huh. goes. Have to redo it. She's like, okay, how to market to clients, like, all right, okay, let's do another one. Hmm. Uh -huh. Let's go, uh, customer service, let's research customer <laughs> service. Oh, okay, Skylar just unlocked the hair care service. Cool, that's what's up. So that's what we're gonna be doing in the meantime. Um, should we watch another one? Or right, let's, um, I did want her to watch a birthing video. Uh -huh. Let's say the doctor sent her this link. Like, okay, just, just you want a natural birth, go ahead and, you know, watch this video. I'm gonna send you a link and tell me what you think. <laughs> She's like, whoa, okay, wait. Okay, our girl Skylar, she is still not tired, but we just gonna make her get ready. It's late, it's almost five o'clock in the morning. Like, girl, not you being a night owl. This baby got you all the way up. It's like, like, my baby is active at night. I cannot sleep. Ooh, girl, not your face being ashy. How <laughs> I gotta find the lotion. I know I have that mod in there where you gotta apply it, girl. You need some moisture. Look at this ash, y'all. She is ashy on her face. 
That is crazy. Is there a moonlit for it? No, Skyler is scared. <laughs> Maybe I should have let her watch that video. Scared a freaking video from watching a childbirthing video. I had no idea that childbirth could be like this. Someone help me, please. <laughs> she is terrified. She like, I don't know if I want to do it the natural way. That looks like a lot of pain. I'm not ready for it. <laughs> Sky the girl, you gonna be just fine, okay? Like, <laughs> she. Oh, she got another pregnancy mood lip. A new life within from pregnancy. Sometimes Skylar is overwhelmed with delight at the feeling of her baby growing within. She can't wait for it to be born. Aww. Same here, girl. We feel you. We can't wait for you to have this baby. So this baby got her sleep schedule all the way off like she is not even tired but we just gonna make her lay down anyway and get some rest a few, a few moments, moments later, later. And i'm just kidding <laughs> so she's up from her little power nap literally because y'all know she wasn't tired but anyway oh uh, she's got morning sickness again oh yay <laughs> should we just go ahead and let her bring that up she's also craving rich food she wants a greasy pizza and loaded mashed potatoes. Girl, you know the doctor said you got to eat better than that. Like, for real. Mm-mm. So, of course, she's hungry, but let's have her go in here and, uh, yeah, let's have her just throw it up. Like, that'll probably make her feel better. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. So, yeah, we'll wait because we're going to have to clean that toilet after she done. It's going to be nasty, y'all. Oh, it's the doctor. Hey, Skylar. This is the doctor office. I just wanted to let you know that your pap smear results came back normal. There's nothing to worry about. So we'll see you at your next doctor's appointment. Remember, take care of yourself. She must knew we was having like a pregnancy craving or something. Oh, girl. Mm -hmm. Let it out. How you feel? Okay, I don't think that helped, y'all. <laughs> And look at that toilet. Oh gosh. Let's go on ahead and pop. Oh, oh, hold up. Oh, polish. Oh my gosh. I cannot stand to hear the noise of the flies. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead and brush them teeth after you're done. Girl. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, filthy surroundings. <laughs> Still morning sickness, so we just did all that for absolutely nothing, y'all. 10 out of 10, will not recommend again. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and use it. Yeah, brush your teeth first, girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that made her feel a little bit better. So off to do our favorite thing. We're gonna go grab something to eat, some breakfast. I love this little cookbook. It's so cute. It's pink. I wish those came in a different swatches, but. Ooh, not gonna be in so loud. Oh, so this is Trey's dad. Well, I, I don't wanna do that with Trey Daddy. What? Why? Here she come. Come on, girl. Ooh. So yeah, um. All right, let's look up some breakfast. What we can make, what can we make, what can we make? Let's see. Dang, we gotta get her cooking skills up. So she is gonna be start cooking a lot more. We're not gonna be ordering out as much. We're gonna start cooking because when our baby come, we wanna learn how to cook for our baby. Like, we're not gonna be a McDonald's mom or fast food mom. We're not doing that. Y'all didn't see nothing. Oh, there go the bowl. Oh, girl. Dang! Oh shoot! Got you down to like seven fingers, eight fingers now. <laughs> okay. Huh? Girl, you about to go blind? Like, <laughs> not the paprika in the eyes. That's what it looked like. Oh, girl, I hope you clean that off. That's nasty. Got raw meat juice on the seasoning top. Yeah, we gotta start cooking more, y'all. This ain't it. Okay, don't burn the steak. Just, just why? Why, why is this? This is, this Sims team, like, really, really. Like, he's not here, but he's still texting us messages. Oh, girl, I can't. This shouldn't even be a thing. Like, why are we able to get text messages like 
<laughs> we just gonna ignore that. That ain't never happened, y'all. Y'all didn't see that. So yeah, let's finish cooking our steak. This <laughs> is crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. All right, you 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 scratching up the the pan with that, boo. Okay, turn the heat down a little bit. It's too, it's a little high. Okay, oh. eggs. Oh, girl, yeah, you had the fire too high. You can't be cooking eggs on high. I like to cook mines on low and slow. Mm -mm. Oh, neat. But you don't like the smell of it? Cause I remember I was pregnant, I could not stand the smell of a fragrance candle. Like, I, you had to put it out. I'm not coming. Like, oh my gosh, the egg. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's see what, what we got. <laughs> and it still look fire, okay? Yes. Very well seasoned. Are those grits? Those are grits. Are those Cajun style grits or something? <laughs> And the quality just came through as well excellent but you know maybe it's just her palate she's like it's good to me it's a little burnt but it's good let's go have a see until we get a we gotta work on the kitchen um before the next episode let's go over here and sit down in our little blue little beanbag chair filthy surroundings it's always dirty yes is it good what says disease free all right okay she's having a sad oh she's having a mood swing she's sad all oh, the slightest things that makes her want to cry <laughs> yeah I, I i get it your body is going through all type of changes you not you know you don't really know too much about what's going on you just feeling that way She's like, oh, I want a burger and fries later. Girl, not you thinking about food and it's still breakfast and you already worried about lunch. Girl. <laughs> All right, we just put our dishes away. Skylar over here wiping down her counters. Um, yeah, I can't wait to finish this kitchen. It's going to be cute. Just, you know, the microwave, you know, it's going to be something cute. Yes. Let's go over here. So did that help the surroundings? What? What you got an idea? Hair on fleek. Okay. Yes. Y'all, it's already two o'clock in the afternoon, so let's get her ready. Let's just um let's let's freshen up and then we're gonna get her dressed and we're gonna go on a salon studio hunt like i was gonna have her work from home like make a studio but she's gonna need that room for her baby we are going to find her her own salon so she don't have to work for nobody so skylar is dressed she looks cute she up here checking out her baby bump look at her oh <laughs> something just real comfy cozy you know not doing too much yeah she like hi mama's baby how you doing good morning I mean, good afternoon. <laughs> so, yeah. I think, Aww. like, every two episodes, we're going <laughs> to make her in her new, um, her new trimester. So, it doesn't drag out the pregnancy because I'm not trying to do the whole length of it. So, that's what we're <laughs> going to do to speed things along. So, in the next episode, she will be in her second trimester. All right, y'all, so Skylar has been looking high and low for the perfect location, and I think she might have found it. Um, she is at the salon suite, of course. <laughs> she just finished signing a lease with my salon suite, so her rent, y'all know I'm extra, so she will be paying a monthly, well, should we do it by seasons or a week? I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but she will be paying a um, month booth rent i think she's gonna be paying like 500 dollars. so yeah we'll be doing that so this is where she'll be meeting with all her clients to give them their service so she will be doing hair and makeup looks so yep 
so she just arrived so we'll have her take a look around they have a laundry room right behind her and she is going to be in suite 201 and we'll just go over here and let her check it out see where she wants to put everything it is a blank canvas and she can do whatever she want in here as long as you paint it back when you're done <laughs> so yeah this is a suite um, it's gonna be five hundred dollars. So yeah, we're um, <laughs> y'all. Skyler over here, like, wow, this is so perfect. I love it. Like I can see myself being here for a minute. This is way better. It's more professional than working out of my house because that is my peace and my space, and I definitely want to be safe. You know, for me and my baby, it's gonna be us. So yeah, this is perfect, and I can bring my baby here. You know, it's all clean. This is bad on me, y'all. <laughs> it's too high. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. I love it. It's perfect. I'll take it. <laughs> so, yep, this is going to be her salon suite. We will be fixing it up, decorating it, and all that. But I'm going to try to find a way to be able to play, like, manipulate the for rent thing situation and see if I can rent this out and pay. Oh, if y'all didn't know, um, this is on my Patreon, and it's free. It's really cute. It's a little kid's braiding salon. And I see people that be having issues with it as uh, far as the flooring. So you have to delete the floor and then put the uh, room in if you didn't know. Otherwise, you're going to have stuff halfway through the floor for some reason. So, yeah, that's a way to fix it so everything is in its right place. But I did want Skylar to move over here. But I felt like it was too big. This is for like, I meant... Oh, it's too high. <laughs> um, I was the original idea for this suite was to be like a double suite for you and your bestie or whatever. Speaking of best friend, I have to make Sky a best friend because she needs somebody to talk to. Like, I need to get my girl a best friend, like a couple of them. So yeah, it's like it's a double one. So I was like, uh no, we'll just we'll just stay over here and you know make this one work. It's big enough. Like it's not that it's small. It's just. I didn't want it too too big so yeah we'll just stay on this one so this is our salon suite we will be fixing it like I said be thinking about some cute names to name it and stuff but yep here is her my salon suite and I'm so happy for her so congratulations guy remember to pay your rent your booth rent your suite rent whatever it's called <laughs> yeah that's a realtor right there. She leaving. So, mm -hmm. yep. Real cute. Real cute. We had the little, I think we had the best <laughs> view because we by the water fountain over there. So, we got a little scenery or whatever. So, oh, look at her. She's like, mommy got us a little business, baby. <laughs> but we about to head out, y'all. We will see y'all at the next location. Skyler just called Shanice and let her know that she was going to be on her way. And we already know, Shanice already knows that she wants to talk to her about something. So let's go ahead and, not the house disappearing, like, hold on. <laughs> let's go ahead and knock on the door. For anybody wondering, this house is by Alexis Ariel. Pretty sure it feels so weird to be back here like with Trey gone and stuff like this is the first time her visiting since his passing oh look at Skylar <laughs> hey Shishi how you doing girl it's a long time no talk to how have you been what have you been up to so Shanice she's like 17 she's about to be 18 yeah so let's um let's have a deep conversation like how you been i hope you're hanging in there i know you miss your brother all that you know that talk that nobody ever wants to have you know just checking in on her oh girl let's change your clothes for you you over here smacking her with this big old purse and we up here trying to have a deep conversation like no yeah let's 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 change your outfit get rid of our bag even though it's cute you know it goes with the fit but she's like yeah i know it's been hard like but i'm i'm getting through it girl 
I know you miss my brother too, you know, y'all used to listen to music all the time. So over here is Shanice's bedroom, and in this room, that's Trey's old bedroom, but it looks like they converted it into a media room. So yeah, this is the house, very pretty house, very, very nice house. Here's the upstairs, the kitchen, the parents' bedroom. They're not here right now. Um, Skylar just wanted to talk to Shanice first. So Skylar wants to go check out Trey's old room and, you know, reminisce, you know. Oh, girl, if you don't get up in here and check out his room. <laughs> yeah. She like, I can still see him sitting over here playing his video games like it still it still hurts you know look at her she all looking around like man i can't believe he's gone oh she got a soulmate mootlet i hope they talking about training that would have been weird we are really soulmates huh talking about soulmates reaffirm what i already knew deep down you are my one True love, my soulmate. I hope she's talking about Trey, cause that'd be weird if they was talking about Shanice. Like that's weird. Yeah, we gon' um, we gon' say that uh, <laughs> that they was talking about um Trey, cause she's she's in his room and all. Mm -hmm. Okay, her and Shanice over here talking. She like, I missed you though. I want you to come around a lot more and you know spend more time with each other, cause regardless. My brother not being here or not, we are still family because you are his, the love of his life and I know how much you love my brother so we'll always be family, okay girl? So don't ever feel like you just can't come over and hang out, you know? Oh, what do you guys think? Should they become like best friends? I know that'd be weird but like, you know, they could be really good friends and you know, hang out with i mean regardless i mean she don't know yet but she already auntie so <laughs> she gonna be around regardless so we might as well be you know really close friends and sisters pretty much you know so i'll have sky come over here and sit down and she'll break the big news to her and um Ooh, girl, don't throw up. She gonna be like, girl, what's wrong with you? You all right? Yeah, look, okay, look. She already wants, she like, girl, what's wrong with you? What the king, please tell me what you came here to tell me. I've been wrecking my brain trying to figure out what's the tea. <laughs> she like, all right, girl, all right, you ready? You, you might want to sit down for this. <laughs> like, girl, if you don't go ahead and tell me and stop playing. This guy like, okay, I think you promise. I'm about to tell you for real. <laughs> Okay, here goes nothing. Like, how do you tell somebody that you pregnant by their brother? Wait, hold on, girl. Where you going? Uh-uh. Hold up. <laughs> we gonna pretend that she was hyping herself up. Girl, what happened to your hand? Your hand is gone. Whatever. Hand or not. Shanice's like, what is it? You got some new shoes? She's like, no. I'm, I'm pregnant. And, and Trey's the father. So look at Shanice. She's like, what? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be an auntie. Are you serious? You lying for real? Like, give her a hug. Oh my gosh, her mama just <laughs> the timing. <laughs> like I said in the first episode, Skylar and Trey's mom, Nicole, they don't really get along. Like, she don't know why Nicole don't like her. And you know, it's just, I, oh my gosh, her walking in, <laughs> it's just crazy. Y'all, I was not expecting her to walk through the door, like, right then and there. Like, I didn't know where she was at. <laughs> and, like, how is Sky supposed to tell her that she pregnant and she know that she don't like her? Like, how do you share your big news with somebody that doesn't like you? Like, that don't make any sense. But she got to tell her. You know, she got to tell her. She is carrying her grandchild. So, that's it. That's all. Period, poo. <laughs> so, y'all, let's get ready to tell her. I feel like her dislike just went up even more with Sky just being here. But yeah, here's Trey's profile. I don't know why it say women and men, but that ain't right. <laughs> and look, it says has a child together. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why I say he he's not basic looking. Like this whole don't mind this, y'all. <laughs> but yeah. But maybe Nicole is going through it. Like maybe she I mean she did lose her son she's still mourning him 
So maybe she not, you know, she not doing well. So let's try to talk it out and see if we can come to Good some day. type of peace, you <laughs> know? Oh, here's their dad. This is Trey and Shanice's dad. That's Houston. And like, yeah, let's just talk to them and let's give him a hug. See how he's been doing. Like their dad don't understand why Nicole don't like Sky. She's always been sweet, polite. He just don't get it. So she's about to go give him a hug. Hey, Mr. Moore, how you doing? Oh, see, look, she's like, what are you doing here? Like, where's she like? Oh, y'all, I hope they don't start fighting. Look, Sky said, forget that hug. I got something to tell you. Sky is pissed. Like, look at her face. She's like, first of all, don't talk to me like that. I ain't do nothing to you. I ain't say nothing to you. She's like, anyways, how you doing, Mr. Moore? <laughs> Go ahead and tell him, Sky. I know that we've all been through a lot after losing Trey, but um, I just want to let you know that I just recently found out that I'm carrying Trey's baby. Wait, what? Skyler, why would you make up some lie like this? That's not even funny. Mr. Cole, it's not a lie. I am pregnant. Okay, you might be pregnant, but it's not Trey's baby. <sighs> Skyler. Like you said, we've been through a lot. Why would you come up here and make up stories like this? Are you looking for attention or something? <laughs> Are you serious? I love Trey and I miss him dearly. And I feel like I am carrying a blessing. It's like having a piece of him here. Before I claim that baby, as my sons, we don't need a DNA test. So this is your last chance to come clean of any more possibilities or anybody else you was messing with because I'm still not buying this. This is crazy. After everything my family's been through. <laughs> Let me stop you right there, Miss Nicole. I'm not about to sit here and argue with you. Here you go. And we both know, Trey would have been highly disappointed in you acting like this. You know what, Miss Moore? I'm out of here. I don't have to listen to this. And oh, by the way, we're having twins. And that DNA test, not a problem. I'll be happy to give it to you. Skylar just made it back home. She about to lay down. She's had a long day, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to join the crew. Until next time, y'all. Bye.